Hey guys, welcome back. All right, so I am back with my basket. I'm gonna share with you my December melting basket. Um, this is probably, yeah, for sure, easily like my favorite basket of the year. I love Christmas time. It is just, I don't know, I love all the scents of Christmas. It just, it's cozy, it's, it's exciting. So um, I have a lot of stuff in here I'm excited to share with you. Um, I've got a mixture of a whole bunch of different things. I've got Scentsy, I've got a little bit of Scentsy, not a whole lot. Um, I have a lot of the Burning Mitten. I've got a few from K, um, uh, Teddy Bees, a little bit of Sassy Girls, some Victoria, Lavender and Speckles, Rose Girls. It's kind of a mixture here. And a lot of it is actually, fr um, well, a lot of this is left over from last year or it's been curing and I'm like ready to get into it. So I'm really excited. So let's get started. I'm gonna start with clams. So I'm gonna start with Scentsy and then I'll show you the rest. Speaking of clams, I really did wanna get Christmas scents from Walmart this year, but I just don't need to, I really don't. Um, I probably will next year, but anyway. Okay, Scentsy, Homestead Holiday. Really excited about this one. Um, I think would P Patricia Gates said she warms this on Christmas or Christmas Eve or something. Oh, it's so good on cold, I can't wait for that. I have a feeling that's gonna be strong, so I'm gonna be careful with that. Uh, this was gifted to me from Scott. I'm so grateful because I love this scent. It's marshmallow mint cocoa. A very close friend of mine sent me some of her brick last year and I loved it. Oh, it's so good. Oh, yes. Love this. Can't wait for that. I have never warmed this and I hear great things. Black Forest Pine. I don't really think this has to be warm during Christmas, but I'm gonna warm it, hopefully. It's good. It's like a deep, like dark, kind of green, Christmassy tree kind of scent, I don't know. Um, and then the last scent in here uh, is Peppermint Dreams. I don't even know, I have no idea what the notes are for any of these, I should have checked, but um, this is good. Very strong on the peppermint. So yeah, very excited about those four. That's all I have from Scentsy, I don't have a ton. Um, I have, let's see, I have three in here from K Scented Melts. This one is Cranberry Zucchini Bread. Um, I think, was it Candace said she really likes this? So I'm excited, I love anything really with zucchini bread. It's Cranberry Orange Zest and Zucchini Bread. I shouldn't smell all of these but I kind of want to <laughs> love them okay old world Christmas sweet fruit and floral cinnamon and clove this is kind of like a classic Christmas scent it's like that fruity garland cinnamon kind of scent it's really pretty and the last one in here from Kay is holiday drive and I've heard good things about this this one is Fraser fur espresso and bake shop so yeah. Okay, the rest of the clams in here are from the Burning Mitten. I recently hauled the Burning Mitten on my channel, but um, so normally I would let wax cure, but these all have pour dates of like a year ago, so I really need to warm them, I feel like. So this one is Christmas Wish. This one is Lemon, Orange, Cedarwood, Pine, Pine Cones, Vanilla, and Sugar Cookies. Um, this one is peppermint bark, peppermint chocolate and vanilla. I love peppermint and chocolate. It just reminds me of this time of year. This one's good. It's a little light, but we'll see. And I don't get a ton of peppermint on cold, but that could very well change. We'll see. Christmas Eve, sugar cookies, peppermint sticks, and eggnog. I'm like christmas out over here. A cup of cheer, hot cocoa, marshmallow, fluff, and vanilla bean noel. Red cup season, peppermint mocha, cake pops, peppermint sticks, and whipped cream. I feel like every year I have to have some 
sort of a peppermint mocha. It just puts me in the mood. So that's Red Cup Season. And the last one is Candy Cane Lane. Vanilla Bean Noel, Peppermint Sticks, Cotton Candy, and Fire Roasted Marshmallows. So that is it for clams, everything. Uh, I'm gonna show you scent shots. And these are, I think, yeah, all of these are from Candles by Victoria. So I have one and a half of Cookies for Santa. This is amazing. I remember I just wanted to try this because I got this over the summer and <laughs> it felt like Christmas in my bedroom. So it's like a very heavy cinnamon vanilla bakery delicious scent. Love this scent. I'm glad I got it. I probably wouldn't have gotten it if Charity had mentioned it. So yeah. Um, log Cabin. I swear I love Candles by Victoria. I get such great performance. Christmas Cabin. And I think the last one in here is Cabin in the Woods. Okay, that's it for scent shots. Um, let's see, what should I do next? I'm gonna show you, let's do, what should we do? Let's do like bags, I guess. I'm gonna show you my, I have two loaves in here and they're both from Teddy V's. So I'll just show you what I have in here from Teddy V's. Um, this is leftover from last year. I think all of these are from last year. This one is Holiday. The scent of wreaths, hanging, cookies, baking, winter garland, and a warm fireplace. This is so pretty. It's very strong. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to warm this. Love Holiday. And the other loaf in here I have is Christmas Trees and Cream, which is fresh pine, vanilla waffle cone, and rich buttercreams. These are all poured back, I think like October of last year. So this should be nice and cured. So I have three tubs and this is actually left over from last month. This is cozy cookie cake plus balsam. So it's vanilla balsam, Fraser furs blended with our cozy cookie cake, which is warm iced white cake, beach treats, marshmallow fireside and signature sugar cookie. I did half of this tub and I probably won't have any problem finishing this this month. This is so good, but I love her cozy cookie cake. In fact, I have a loaf of that. And my plan is, I thought, you know, with the balsam, this should be like now, and then I'll probably do that. Um, I'll work on that loaf like maybe in January, which is next month, which is like freaking crazy to think about that January is next month. <laughs> anyway, um, I have a tub of the North. This one is vanilla balsam type, Palo Santo marshmallow fireside type, and a hint of smoldering firewood. These again, like I said, were poured last year, so really excited about this. I actually thought about warming this today, but I didn't love it. And the last tub is the night before Christmas. This is flannel sheets, warm cashmere and vanilla blended with the scent of Christmas trees. This is so pretty. Um, I could see myself um, maybe at least working on this a little bit and then it bleeding into just, you know, after Christmas in the winter time. It's really pretty. I love flannel sheets. Um, love flannel sheets. Okay, and the last one in here from Teddy B's is House of Dragons. Uh, this is Palo Santo, Vanilla Balsam, Fallen Leaves, Peppermint, and a hint of cinnamon. I kind of want to smell this. Really curious how this performs. It smells really pretty, though. Okay. That's it for Teddy B's. I have a couple in here from Lavender and Speckles. This is Pine Cones and Beach Nights, which is Roasted Pine Cones, Vanilla Birch, and Beach Nights. Um, you know, I thought this would be, I mean, I guess the Pine Cones is kind of what sold me on this. 
with beach night. So I'm kind of just, I'm curious to see how these do because this is evergreen in beach night, which is beach night blended with evergreen. So I've got those two in here. I have one from L3 left over from last month. This is Irish cream mocha chip latte with a dash of cinnamon sugar from L3 Wax Wonders. Let's see, I've got a couple in here from Sassy Girl Aroma. This is Snowy Lodge, smoked embers, light citrus, pine, patchouli, cedarwood shavings, and white musk. I'm like almost 100% sure this is the dupe for the Snow Mountain Lodge candle from Bath and Body Works, which is one of my most favorite scents of all time. I'm like 99% sure it's that. It is so good. I love this so much. Oh, it is so good. It's very strong. It's so good. So I would like to finish that this month. Um, and then I have a brittle from Sassy Girl Roma. This is Christmas Shop. Fresh cut trees, decorative garland, and winter fruits. So another one left over from last year I'd like to finish as well. Um, from Traverse City Wax Co., this is Happy Camper, which is evergreen, forest, moss, gooey marshmallows, and campfire embers. I have this going right now. This is amazing. This is so good. It's, I really get the evergreen, the campfire embers, and I guess the, yeah, the, the marshmallows is kind of helping like soften up the scent oh my gosh this is so pretty i love this i can't wait to warm it absolutely love this <laughs> it's so good i'm so glad i have a brittle of that because that is a hit for me let me know if you have that you should warm it because it's amazing i have one random bam bag in here from super tarts this one is yippee kaye iced sugar cookies and pine needles this is Easily, <clears throat> easily one of my favorite scents of all time, um, especially during the holidays. It is so good. Um, it's so good. I wish I was ordering from Super Tarts, but I just can't. I'm, I'm not going to get into that, but I'm going to finish this. I mean, I have quite a bit, and, you know, you don't need much, so I absolutely love that scent. Okay, I have three mini melters from rose girls and that's it one of my all-time favorites christmas eve in cookie land this is eggnog royal sugar cookie monster cookie marshmallow smoothie and donut holes you guys this is so good i know i feel like this you know people talk this up and then everybody's disappointed and i'm like why this is so good um i love this it's such a rich heavy scent and it's got to be the eggnog but then you get that cinnamon donut note in here i absolutely love christmas eve and cookie land it's amazing uh the next one is koopa's christmas carols this one is soft pine sugar cookies snow powder mint and campfire marshmallow and last but not least this is thwomps pine peppermint sugar cookie dough and campfire marshmallow so I got this last year and I felt like I needed to either wait or I just couldn't get to it and I was sad and I've been wanting to warm this since then. It is one of the most beautiful scents ever on coal. It's so nice, it's so good. So I can't wait to warm this. Um, these are all, these mini melters are from last year, so I'm really hoping that they throw. Um, for me, Rose Girls is kind of hit and miss with shelf life. Like, some things do really, really well, um, after a year cured, and then sometimes things don't. I guess that's kind of with any vendor, but there are some vendors where I know that it's, like, good for years and years and years, you know what I mean? So, yeah. 
But anyway, that's everything. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I don't think I have any other videos to film. I was thinking about doing my Traverse City um, haul. Let me know if you guys want to see that. I'll film it. But other, uh, if it's up to me, I won't. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.